Here is the Happy Cube, the fantastic new fun form of entertainment for the whole family and for those who want a real challenge. You can choose from six different cubes with six different challenges. Student, for the beginner. Scholar, relatively simple. Graduate, needs intuition. Masters, for the logical thinker. Professor, complicated. And genius for the professional puzzler. You can start with the blue cube and then progress through the colours as you get more experienced, finally achieving the red and the purple cubes. Train the brain with the Happy Cube, the educational puzzle for all ages. Once you've achieved the individual cubes, you can then build new and more challenging structures. The greatest challenge is to build the star or the maxi cube, which combine pieces of all six cubes. And a further challenge is to store the Happy Cube back in its frame, like a traditional jigsaw. The Happy Cube, the new brain teaser for the whole family, now available in this store. Welcome to the Toy of the Year event. It was a world of magic and fantasy at the Toy Museum in Mechelen, Belgium, in which the Toy of the Year awards were given. The purpose of this contest is to promote good toys and games, and in the end, the entire sector. The toys had to stimulate the children's creativity, they had to be safe of course, perhaps even educational, but by all means, they had to be fun to play with. The jury was made out of parents, toy dealers, children and journalists. And they sure had a good time. But why are toys so important? Well, uh, children are very important. We were all children once. Our first experiences of life are really through toys. And uh, that's how we grow up, that's how we get an introduction into the world. They are educational, they teach us how to live together. And play is a very, very important part of anybody's life, uh, children, but also as we become adults with hobbies and adult games as well. Um, I don't think the world would be anywhere near such a happy place if it wasn't for toys. <laughs> In the category for children up to five years, the winner is Playmobil 103. It's a kind of doll's house in which a child can learn to become self-conscious by organizing its own world. In the category for children from five to twelve, the first prize goes to this four-in-one table. Is there such a thing as an eternal toy? Yeah, I think so. Um, there are always the, the, the obvious toys, a ball, a bike, uh, which are, uh, will always go on, they'll always be popular. Um, but it's new ways of even looking at old ideas as well. Something doesn't have to be completely and utterly new. One has to look at uh, new ways of promoting maybe which is an old idea. In the category Games and Toys for Young and Old, the winner is Happy Cube, a creative puzzle in two or three dimensions with several levels of difficulty. In the category Hobby and Do-It-Yourself, this construction game is the winner. Again, it looks old-fashioned, but new metals and even plastic pieces were being used. The special press prize was for the educational game Ecologica. Does a toy or a game have to be educational to be good? Uh, not necessarily. Of course it must be also fun, but this fun is, uh, is nothing against educational. I believe, uh, we believe that uh, uh, in the age uh, between uh, 3 and 10, uh, the children learn a lot, you know, that's, uh, that's normal, but it's, it's uh, um, the child learn more, uh, well, learn 100% of what they do with pleasure, with fun, and games, uh, playing, uh, that's their uh, first activity, that's something that they do really with fun. And in the last category, toys for girls from 5 to 12, this soft, lovely little lamp 
was the winner. It must be a very difficult market where the consumers are not the buyers. Yes, it is. And, it's the, and the people like us who develop items are not children. So the mind, <laughs> we have to keep our mind uh, young, at least. Okay. Yes. Here's a puzzle. What comes in a Wito box and isn't round? A micro happy cube. Oh. Free with my new better than ever Witos. Only a brain box could work this one out. But for beginners, here's an easy peasy. <laughs> happy cube indeed. Jetzt wird um die Ecke gedacht. Denn in jeder Junior-Tüte steckt einer von drei kniffligen Puzzlewürfeln. Hey,